day everyone. Uh, welcome to Talking To Our Souls. And actually we're outside in a park in Redditch. I don't know the name of it. Oh. I just found it. Oh, Steve will tell you. The lake. That's right. Now we're in Arrow Valley Lake in Redditch. Um, and we're, I'm so excited. I've seen it. Me and Av together in the same space. Obviously we're outside. We can't do it inside because we're still under restrictions. But we're going to do the show live outside. Damned excited. Um, I haven't got anything to talk about, Steve. What do you think? No, I haven't either. Thank you, Steve. Steve. Just one thing. Yeah. I think I was uh, racially profiled on uh, uh, Starbucks. <laughs> do you want me to ask you why, or do you want me to, to well, say that was just a mistake? No, well, I just. I mean, it's, we haven't got a cup. We, just, we just went to Starbucks, and uh, Steve got a, I look a, bit camp. a large, a large. Uh, I look a bit camp. Uh, Steve got a large uh, cappuccino, and I got a little. That's what he calls it. Uh, I got a little uh, vanilla latte. That's what I call it. And Steve got a sleeve on his cup, and I didn't. Now I reckon she probably thought, looking, judging by looking at me, but well, he's used to handling hot stuff. <laughs> 17 year old girl from Redditch, by the way. Uh, 17? Oh, she's re I'm thinking that she probably thought I worked in like a takeaway or something, so that's what I'm getting at. No, that's. Oh! Ah. Racially profiled me. Oh, I, I just thought <laughs> it was because I was from Redditch and you were from Wolverhampton, so she oh, gives yeah. the Redditch people a sleeve and the people from Wolverhampton no sleeve. She didn't know I was from Wolverhampton, did she? You did say, yeah, I'm right. No, she did. She didn't even, I don't think so. I reckon she just saw him and thought, this lovely uh, elderly white gentleman deserves a sleeve on his cup. Where this uh, middle, middle aged elderly white gentleman. This middle aged dodgy looking Indian doesn't need a sleeve on a cup because. I never knew you were middle aged. I think I am. What's middle aged? Well, these days. No, I yeah. suppose you're right. I reckon I'm going to die at 60, so middle aged is 30. <laughs> so I'm middle aged as well. There you go, sorry. Or I should be dying. Yeah. No, because I'm only 27. No, but I don't think she was racially profiling Av. I'm going to be honest with you. I think she just think that I was a, just a, you're right, an old white man. Well, she might have thought that I was like, I'm a carer. You, yes. Yeah. That, uh, Av would be a very good carer. I, I, he's held my hand around the lake. Thing is, we are actually doing it now, aren't we? Even though we said we weren't yeah. going to do this, we weren't going to do... Let's let's do it. Let's, I'll tell you what, you go back to your place, I'll go back to mine. All right, see you. Bye. I really don't know how to follow that, <laughs> but we ought to introduce the show as well. But I don't know. Uh, we're back. At, we're back. We're back in our own uh, little parts of the world. Uh, good evening. Good afternoon. Hello. Whatever time it is with you. This is talking to our souls with me, Steve Hen, and over there, Av, walking around the park, Mister Singh. Walking around the park for a lark. So that was us around the lake the other day. Av, what <laughs> first thoughts? Um, well, I, I mean, we would have liked to have been there a bit longer, but we got a bit uncomfortable, didn't we? Uh, with all the uh, yeah, oh, Jesus, we had so many people in a public place. You put a camera and two old men, two middle-aged men, talking to a camera, and everyone thinks, "Oh, these are famous people." It was like Jonathan Pye. Well, I got, I got a bit concerned when about three or four cars turned up in front of us and kept flashing us. Um, I wasn't quite sure what, we, what they wanted us to do. But, um, yeah. Dogging! Yeah. Hey, I, yeah. I actually worked out what dogging is now. I, I'm not, I know what dogging is, but I know where the name came from. Well, I worked out where the name came from because I'm assuming that people just went dog walking to start with. So they said, let's go and take the dog for a walk. And then it was just dog walkers meeting each other and then having sex. That's and that's, that's where the term... That's, <laughs> <laughs> is that, that's a shih tzu. But no, <laughs> it, it, I don't know if that's where it's happened. Poor dogs, that's right. They're wagging their oh, tails. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I bet, I'm, excuse me, I'm just going to take the dog out for a walk. It'll be a couple of hours. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't wait up for me. 
<laughs> Can I have some <laughs> condoms? And he's, and he's, the what, the dog, for the dog? He's, he's, he's dragging the dog. He's going, no! No! <laughs> he's trying to go to the Put his paws over his ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor dogs. Yeah, well, you say that. Oh, I killed a cat the other day. Oh, is that a euphemism or something? No, no. <laughs> I killed a cat. No, I did in the van. I was driving along at 80, 80. They can only do 59 miles an hour. Uh, at 59 miles up the highway. And this cat came flying out in front of the van. And then it didn't appear from the other side. But I heard this tutump. I think that I think that I think the cat's pet, uh, sorry, the pet owner of that cat uh, probably took it dog in. <laughs> I'm just taking the cat out. The cat's going no, and he just thought I've had enough here. I found myself yeah. in front of the van. <laughs> I don't think it actually threw itself in oh, front right, of okay. the van. I, I think it was trying to cross the road. But I, oh, I to be fair, right. I, I think foxes have, have shot out in front of me, about three or four, and they go at some speed. Whereas cats, I don't think are as that... Because I suppose they've got shorter legs. That's probably what it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've run over a squirrel. Where, so. where, where, where's his nuts? Uh, in his mouth. Probably after I drove over him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should um, I tell you a joke? It's not It's not even funny. I love these jokes. They're not even funny. These are jokes that I knew at school. Hey, Ab, what goes through a fly's mind as he hits the windshield? Anyway, that's... Thanks very much. I think we've just <laughs> quite happily moved on from our live experience at the lake. <laughs> we've just forgotten that. No, it was nice to meet up, though, really. But, yeah, no, it wasn't the dogging. It was we were having a lot of people watching us, and we felt that was... We weren't used to that. Uh, and also, again, there was a lorry. A lorry keep driving past. Go, <sighs> well, I, I was... I mean, I was trying to bring race into it because it either makes it more political or, or try and make it more funny, racially funny. But, um, I mean, they probably thought I was robbing you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I like the, I fact, the fact that you said a, a nice old, wet, white, uh, elderly gentleman. But actually, I've spoken to you before, Av, and and you said the same thing. But I reckon it's 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 the drink you order because I have a hot cappuccino. I have a hot. I have a cappuccino, and you have a latte. See, and you said to me before that you went somewhere and they didn't give you a hot a sleeve, and I reckon it's because you asked for a latte. No, no, I've ordered a latte before and, and got a sleeve. Well, perhaps it is, because... Well, I think Costa or Costa... I didn't, I didn't know what to call you then. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps it is a racial thing. It's perhaps that was what yeah. I should have been saying. Wait, Acosta, I think they make their cups thicker around the middle, I think. You're listening to Talking to Our Souls. But they do do costas in garages. There are some sort of garages oh, that do costas. But uh, I don't yeah. think they're the same. Yeah, they're nah, rank. Nah, nah. They're rank. I, be I beg your pardon. You can't beat a live barrister, especially when you get your order wrong. You can't beat a live barrister. I'll tell you what else you can't beat. What's the difference between an egg and a wank? You can beat an egg. Av Singh, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to Talking to Our Souls, a comedy podcast that hits you right between the eyes when we talk about dogging and, and barristers. Well, yeah. Is it... I could, I could, <laughs> it's not barrister, is it? It's, um... it's barista. Barista. It is barrister. Yeah. Barista. It's, yeah. So, uh, I I, when I was younger, I had a bit of difficulty trying to work that out. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I used to get a barista on my wrister. Yeah. I mean, I used to get. I, I used to. I used to have really problems because I used to go to solicitor and says, "Where's my fucking drink?" Yeah, it, 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 you've got to be careful with words though, because like words, words, especially at the moment. I not. I don't want to be woke because I, I quite like being woke. I think woke is important, but sometimes, sometimes you think, well, well, people can't say anything anymore because you can't say anything. And I think sometimes you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be a prat and say pratty things. I am very good at sticking my foot in it. You know, picking the wrong time to say something, and it 
maybe been inappropriate or completely incorrect. So I, I kind of, I mean, trying to, trying to break the ice with my humour doesn't always go down very well. Um, and not reading the moment properly. <laughs> but, um, uh, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because I, 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 people like you and me—that's weird, isn't it? Because I, I, I'm not saying, but like, comedy is a thing, isn't it? That we enjoy. We like making people laugh. And you try and make people laugh as much as you can. I just, that's my life anyway. I've always tried to make people laugh because it saved me being beaten up. But that's in the book. Don't need to talk about it now. But I think that's the thing. So you look at a situation and you think, well, I'll make that into a joke. Or you'll try your best to make it into a joke. But it can be, you know, other people don't live their life like that. They take life very, very seriously and think it's the most important thing in the world. But I don't think life is the most important thing in the world. I think Coronation Street is. Is life the most important thing in the world? Discuss. Um. <laughs> oh gosh, can of worms, yeah. Can of worms opening. Well, I don't life. know. I don't know. Am I? Am I? I, I? You know, life is precious. I get that. It is very, very precious. But don't take it too seriously. We're not here for that long. You look, you, there, was, there was a scientist on the radio the other day talking about the fact that we could have been here, put here by sci, uh, from another planet rather than just develop naturally. And if you look way back at the dinosaurs, what happened in between the dinosaurs and us turning up, right, obviously it was God. But like, if it wasn't, and it was just a, an evolution thing, that's cool. But it could be that we were brought by aliens and 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 cultivated well, on this planet. I have I have heard the theory that we were bacteria. It could, be, it could have been bacteria on a meteorite that landed. Are we like a weapon that's been put on this planet to destroy it? And that's what humans do. We get put on a planet and destroy it, and then the aliens are, uh, are happy. Oh, well, the, oh they're smoking, happy. playing yeah. cards, and go. Yeah, that's another planet we've fucked up. I don't know why they could they're be coming. a game. <laughs> it could be a game. It could be a game, Steve. It could be like it, how long before they fuck you up? That that my mate yeah, said that. Yeah. My mate said that that life is a game. He says there's no rules. The only way, the only rule is that you have to survive. I mean, and I think, life is the name of the game. And I want to play the game. Play with the you. game with you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, on, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I know. I'm an entertainer. Yeah, yeah. Av was trying to say that he, you know, sometimes puts his foot in his mouth. That's it. That's what we were saying, wasn't it? And I'm saying, but life is short. So we should enjoy ourselves. We shouldn't just get all bogged down in how serious the world is. I mean, at the moment, it's a shitstorm, especially, especially in this country. Although they're locking down around Europe. Thank God. Thank God that we're not in Europe anymore because we don't have to lock down. But Europe is locking down. I don't, I don't remember many times. I was trying to forget as many times as I can where I put my foot in it. I remember I started at a uh, company <laughs> and there was a big meeting, right? And uh, lo the, my line manager was getting married. And I said, oh, you're going to... I mean, take, bear in mind, I've only been there like a couple of weeks, if that. And you're having this meeting and it was going, congratulations, congratulations. So, what, what, you know, she's going to be... I can't remember her first name, but her uh, second name was Quigley. But her name's going to be Quigley. Oh, Dawn. Dawn Quigley. No, no, no. No, no, just I can't remember. Right. And, really, um, really quickly. <laughs> yeah. right. What's your name? Say I, it really quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I, sorry. A uh, uh, fiance is going to. He's Irish, obviously. Quickly, and then. Um, to be sure. In my, in my to be sure, to be sure, and in my head. Um, Racist. It's like thinking about. I think it's like thinking about Tom Selleck, right? Because he made a film, right? And in my head, I said, "Wait there!" I said this out loud. All right. I said, wait there. I watched a film called uh, Quigley Down Under, right, without realising it sounded a, a bit rude, didn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. And everyone looked at me like... Australian Cuddy Linglus is just yeah, in case you If you haven't seen the film... Right? I don't even know what the film was. I was trying to... I'm not even... When he said Tom Qu Selleck... The, Quigley the, Down Magnum, Under. Magnum, uh, Friends and Blue Bloods. Quig the film's called Quigley Down Under. Is it Tom Selleck, a cowboy, and he goes down under? Right? <laughs> when you said it like that, that sounds rude as well. It's you <laughs> turned it into Brookback Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? And everyone's looking at me going, 
what did he just say? Quigley down under. And I was like, oh shit, it sounds like I'm trying to make a rude joke or something, isn't it? And the directors well, are kind yes. of going... But I think that's you rather... I don't know, because like, that's, that's a big stretch, who were, depending on how big she was. No, but like, it, 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 that may be you thinking that, and, and other people don't. No, it was a reaction when they looked at me. I could tell all of them were thinking, because they all went quiet. And he was like... That okay, but, intense look. To be fair, I haven't heard of Quigley Down Under. But this is what I'm trying to say to you. They haven't heard, if you've seen the if you heard the film, then you would know that I'm not talking about something rude. None of these people knew about the film Quigley Down Under. Right, so I'm saying I've seen a film called Quigley Down Under. Yeah. Right? And it it sounds like I'm it sounds like a rude film, doesn't it? And I Well it doesn't sound that, like a rude film. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with oral sex in Australia. Oh God. Let's move on. Do you know what? Do you know what the? Uh, do, you know what the <laughs> do you know what the definition of foreplay Brace yourself, is? Sheila. In Australia. Quigley Down Under, a great film, a great western. Tom Selleck, who I think is looking really portly and old in Blue Bloods. I feel that they they wheel him out on one of those potato sack trucks rather than him doing any work. Kind of seen glimpses glimpses of it, um, but it's not. It's about it's about white police officers, so there should be more racism in it, shouldn't there? The, 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 they do touch on it. They do no, touch I mean, on I, it. They, <laughs> no, because they catch they catch a lot of drug dealers. So yeah. No, I'm thinking that family should be they're all families <laughs> white police officers. So you imagine at a dining table there'd be more racist comments towards uh, drug comments towards blacks and Asians. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, Hispanics. but they're an Irish they're an Irish family though, so they've they've got they bring their own okay. uh, they bring their own racism to the I'm, table. I'm trying to bring a bit of realism to it. <laughs> no, but you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's is the trouble with, with, with so much of, 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 of UK television. Well so or much. Yorkshire or I'm say Yorkshire cricket even. Well how's that? Oh man! Yeah, you know, so when I when I when we first talked about this <laughs> podcast, I thought it'd be something highbrow, you know, <laughs> something that's going to stimulate stimulate the mind. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm listening to a book. Yeah, you know, so uh, a few years ago, that would have been a like uh, a weird comment. <laughs> 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 so you went back, go back twenty, thirty years. I'm listening yeah, to a so, book. Yeah. What are you listening to? That's, it's uh, Richard Osmond from Pointless. Uh, the Osmonds. Richard Osmond. He's no, he wasn't in the Osmonds. <laughs> He'd be the tallest fucking Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> well, Donny, little got... Jimmy Osmond. No, <laughs> tall fucking Osmond. <laughs> He's got the teeth of, of Osmond, though, hasn't he? Well, he has. He has got the teeth of an Osmond. <laughs> but, uh... he, he, no, he, pulled, uh, he pulled out the false teeth, didn't he? For getting on a bit. But no, his book is uh, he's, he's written, the Murder Club was the first one or something like that, and this is the sequel. But right, what? and I uh, yes, very much so. Uh, but like audio books, sometimes the person who's reading them annoys me, and I can't listen to them. And this is going to sound really quite uh, misogynistic, and I don't want it to, because I really don't like many of the female readers but the woman who's reading this book and she read the last book is fucking brilliant she's so good and i'd like it i'd like to li- i would listen to more books read by her because she's so good there's a guy who does a lot of sci-fi books in america he's got a great voice and i like listening to even some of the books are rubbish i'd listen to him rather than the, the the audio book because he yeah. makes it more interesting and this woman is a really good I want to I don't know what her name is but she's brilliant I have a problem straight with that what you just told me what why is Richard Osmond not reading it I tell you why exactly uh, because uh, the main character who who reads who who is if you're reading it you're reading it through this main character's eyes ears. No, head. Uh, she's a woman. So it makes perfect sense for it to be a woman's voice. Perfect sense. Although, Misery, they've done that with Misery, Stephen King's book, and had a female reader write, a female reader write it. 
a female reader read it, uh, a female voice artist read it, and uh, I don't think it is a female. I think it's written in a man's voice because it's he's. It's written from the man lying in point the bed's view. point of view, yeah. rather than Misery, who is a brilliant character. I I just I I have I don't really listen to books but I assumed that the person who wrote them would be the person who would be reading it out to well I, my my mate um, who wrote a book two years ago uh, Jonathan Coe he's written 14 books published in 47 countries went to school with him the last book uh, was about Brexit uh, called Middle England and um, I'm in it. I'm in the book, uh, which is good. Uh, but he couldn't read it because he's quite a shy lad. Was you doing an impression of Boris? Who? You. What? what, what I, I, uh, no, 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 no. It was about a children's entertainer. Well, no, it wasn't. Yeah. The the book <laughs> was not about a children's entertainer. He he's written uh, three of these books that have got the same characters in. Um, the Rotters Club was the first one, which was made into a TV series. Uh, I like this bit because I'm talking about myself. Uh, but and they're all his friends from school. But then he he he's actually put me in because we hadn't seen each other for years and years and years. Uh, and I saw him for a, a, a couple of years before uh, the pandemic, and he released the book. But I haven't seen him since. But it's a great book. Great book. Have you got Have you got any payment or royalties towards you? <laughs> Oh, oh my name's in my name's in the book. At the back. Yeah, I thought it was your big knocking in on his door saying he did. He did. Mission. He did take me to the Barn Green Inn, and that's not a euphemism. So we're we gonna are we gonna meet up and uh, do another live uh, podcast. Yeah, I think we, maybe, but um, let's not go to that park again because of. Again, a bit conscious about people turning up in their cars and flashing us again. Flashing us and, and, yeah. and with their dogs, all the dogs go, no, listen to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. It is a nice place, though, so scenery-wise. No, no, the lake is all right, really, but... Just the people. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I am not saying... Anything derogatory. I, mean, I think I'm a Redditch person. I mean, I was born in Bromsgrove in a hospital. Nothing wrong with me. I think we just lost it... lost a viewer and that. Why? Because it wasn't funny. Oh. Av wants to go now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. <laughs>